Um, you did press red for red on top footy last year. Are you doing that again, or are you hoping you're doing that again? Or what was it like sitting in a comment box with Eve for three hours? <laughs> well, uh, I'm not sure if you heard that, but I was asked. But, uh, you know, we did the uh, press red for Ed, uh, read that Collingwood centric uh, Collingwood Richmond game. Uh, well, being in a box with three other lunatics, and they were lunatics, I mean, uh, it was really hard because at one time early in the game, uh, Richmond had done really well, and I was sort of commentating, you know, in general, you know, saying, oh, that was good play by play. Well, I looked at the end, he goes, man, you're going to get the sack, you know. Uh, this is just purely Collingwood, don't bump up the opposition, you know. Yeah, I think he even said on air, he goes, Dave, stop giving the uh, opposition a rap. So it was a bit over the top, I mean, I don't know if it can work. Do you really want to watch football that way? I mean, I like, you know, I love my team and, and like uh, listening to a game, but at the end of the day, uh, you know, I want to take the whole game in. So, look, it was a bit of fun. I don't know. Uh, you know, I sat by the phone for the next few weeks, but I didn't get another phone call, so uh, I, don't know, well, I don't know what's going on with it. Anybody else got a question? Might go up the back here. Yep. Uh, you've been retired for about 20 years. Um, has Colin ever asked you down to training to teach the boys how to kick straight with skills? Yeah, you should be paid a million dollars to get you down there. Well, um, I was just asked if I'd been... Look, I have been asked... The only two times they've asked me to go down and consider helping out was uh, when they finished 15th on the, on the ladder. You know, and I think the ball marketing thing and... Um, uh, I don't know, I think they, they were probably spooked by me a little bit. Uh, it's a bit of a popularity contest, I don't know whether they're trying to take the focus away, but uh, look, uh, I'm sort of past it a bit now. I'm, I'm 52, so at the end of the day, you know, I've got my young kids and uh, and that's where I sit, but it's interesting enough. You know, I did work with Dan Hannery last year, he was flying down, he rang me, and I knew his uncle was playing with him and he wanted to do some work with me, so I did some work with Dan last, last Christmas, so another Christmas before with his kicking and just his positioning. I'm sorry? Well, I don't know if he's fine today, but that, 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 that wasn't this Christmas, it was last. He had a big year low, it was really good, he had a good year last year. But it was interesting enough, Kevin Rose rang me last year, uh, early last year, and said to me, Oh, look, I know Ben Sinclair's dad really well, who's rung me and, and wants to know if you can help Ben with some of his kicking. And I said, Look, I'm happy to help out, not a problem, um, but I said, if you run this past this to the coach, you know, that's when they can buckle because you don't want to cross over. And he said, oh, I said, you better find out first because, you know, they've got their coaches, mate. So, he never rang me back, so clearly the coach didn't want me anywhere near him, which was, you know what, uh, coaching, um, it, it's really interesting, I say to people, uh, it, 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 it's hard to remedy, but everyone has a, a personal approach and their personal stamp on the way they kick. You know, guys, I used to hold it up high because the circumference sort of narrowed in at the top and I could control it. And I used to stick the, I used to sort of like put the two the two fingers in there on the top of the ball. So as I dropped it, I still had control of the ball. Um, other guys would hold it conventionally across the laces and you had like Buckley and Favola. So everyone can personalise it, how many steps you take. I'd, I'd, I'd kick off three steps, two steps, that was, you know, I'd get my balance and I can't understand 20 steps and 15 and, you know, uh, having a run up. So, but you do personalise it. But I always say, you know the one thing you can't um, explain um, is how hard to kick the thing. Um, you can never put that into words, how hard you kick the thing 30 metres, you need to feel that. And that's why I keep saying to the boys, you know, it's all touch and make sure that your boots fit you. When I do junior footy, the first thing I'll do is that I'll touch the kids. The parents tend to buy the kids boots that they, that they want to keep for five years. You know, the thing is, it's no good because um, the, the art of kicking is touch. Um, you need to feel the ball, you know, and that then gives you the variance in being able to go 30 metres. You can see the good players that will get to within a metre of a guy um, that's 20 metres away, you know, land that ball. And that ball gets back like a golf shot. You can read as many books as you want, people can tell you as many things. You've got to get out in 300 balls so that when you find yourself in that situation, it's uh, second nature. So, um, so I know that's a long-winded answer to your thing, but no, Collingwood have it, and you know what? Um, and it suits me fine, you know. So it's it's, it's uh, really hard because I, I 
they asked me at one time to go back to the club and do one, one, one day a week, and I said to them, you wouldn't send your kid to school, uh, kid to school once a week, so don't ask me to come down and work with guys, because if, it, if you're going to do it, I need to understand them as a player, what they're like away from the club, uh, as people, uh, read through training, through game day, um, because I need to know what buttons to press, and I think that's, that's the real art of coaching, is, is player management, getting the best out of it. Sorry? Yeah, last word, I did last. Peter's pretty keen here. Well, what I'm Have you answered? He's asking a lot of questions. I'll do both anyway. I'll do both. I've got one here too. Yeah, last one. Thanks, just for the pre season of the 1990s when we pushed Trickland to the air shape. How scary was that? How was the race with Darren Lane? Well, firstly, I wasn't on the bush trip. Yeah, I hate spiders. No, I didn't go on the bush trip, uh, and then the boys sort of went away, and um, um, and it was a mix of a lot of things, and they were lost, and they worked their way back and, and find their way back out there, which they did, but the boys always said it was a horrific experience, you know, they, they, they were left out in the middle of nowhere, um, you know, at night they didn't have any lighting, natural lighting, so it was pitch black. Um, you know, had really uh, scarce sort of, uh, you know, sort of things like rationings and, and bedding that have to sleep on the ground. And I think they were out there for, from Friday through to Sunday. And with a lot of them, because they trekked, they trekked uh, tens of miles, um, you know, they blistered up badly. And then again, you know, just had to keep going. But look, at the end of the day, um, it was all designed around bringing the guys together and putting them in a in a environment that was foreign to them, you know, um, and, and the reason they do stuff like that is to see, to put you under that type of pressure, to see what you like at working with guys to, to be able to work out, and, you know, it's the first time uh, the club had done anything like that. We've done other camps, but not to that, to that sort of level in that sort of environment as well, and, um, it was something they thought, you know, really, as part of everything they did, helped us with, with what happened in 1990, but I know they never did it again, uh, because, because it's also fraught with a bit of danger, because there is a danger to the, to, to the players as well, and, you know, they would never do, oh, they still, I mean, they go to Colorado and go into the Grand Canyon with these guys and climb, but they are very, very cautious and very mindful. Uh, these days, especially today's footy, these guys are like formal athletes, aren't they? They're so refined and, you know, they're, they're so finely tuned that, you know, you, you, you really got to, uh, you know, keep them uh, out of harm's way, you know. And we, we never did it again, but it, but it certainly was important to us uh, leading in 1990. I'd just uh, like to finish off when I actually get an email about saying, has anybody got any questions for you? I got an email from my sister saying, can you ask him if back in 1983 he remembers giving me an autograph at the bowling alley in Melbourne? Oh, she was only joking, she didn't expect you to remember, but I, I thought it'd be a good one to finish on because she actually said to me, you know, I still tear up at the memory of him giving me an autograph. And I think it epitomises how we all feel about you giving us some time today and uh, sharing this great game with us and all the stories you've shared with us today. So thank you very much.